Hello and welcome back. So I am going to do the metallic dolly flower technique from Resin Art by Lillian. My choice of inks today is the Write and Draw from Octopus. I love the names that they give their um, colors. So my first one is the Green Panda. I have mixed my resin of Art Pro from resinpro.com. It's a three to two ratio resin. The mold is the large live edge mold from pouring your heart out. Now it's not the eight inch, of course, tray. It's, it's just, she has a small live edge and then a large live edge. And this is the large live edge. I've done this technique in the cascade mold from pouring your heart out, which is just an incredible mold. Uh, but I wanted to try it on this one. Um, one of our group friends, Nicole did it, I believe, in the live edge. So I wanted to try it as well for something different. So the process on this one is you first put your first color, and this one happens to be Green Panda, as that spreads I'll talk. I've got some Enoki in here with a little bit of the yellow. It looks a little pale, but um, we shall see. Maybe I'll add another drop. I think I'll add another drop. And then in another cup, I've got some mica powder and I chose red this time. The, the course from Resin Art by Lillian has you using metallics like gold, copper, silver, and I've done that. So I wanna try like a colorful um, color on the mica. And I did it lightly only because I w would like to try to sort of create a, a light reddish tone on this edge here. So let me just move that. What I'll do is also kind of do this, which is what Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out recommends on um, getting your air bubbles out. So I will do that. Then in this cup is that I started using this mica powder called Unicone. Unicone Art. And this one is shortcake. And I thought I'd use shortcake because that was my nickname in high school. Okay, so on this technique, you put your first color in and then you drop in your metallic, but I am going to use this red. Excuse this project on the left. It's um, curing and I am limited space for filming. So there you go. So I'm gonna put more on the edge here cause I kind of want a little of that red sparkle, hopefully. <clears throat> on that edge of my mold. Okay, then in my piping bag, I've got just resin, titanium white, and I'm going to poke a very small hole because I'd like to have more control of my dots. Now, I'm going to just start... Oh, come on out. Maybe I made it too small. Wow, 
That's the smallest dots I've ever come across, but let me try it. So this is gonna take a while. So I will try at a moment to pause the video and then show you what it looks like after I do this circle. Be right back. Okay, so I've done all those dots. It took a while, so I'm glad I paused the video. Now I'm going to pour in the yellow on top of that red mica powder that I did earlier. All the ratios and drops and all that can be found on Lillian's course. Now this is so similar to the fairy flower technique that was introduced to us by Micah from resincourses.com and I will link her course below as well. So now that I've done that outer of the yellow, I am now pouring my center which has a little bit of a sparkle to it. I added a little mica powder. Not too much, just a little, just to give it a little sparkle. I'm gonna use up all of this. So this, the way I, we, the way some of us are doing this is a two part. So you do this and then I'm going back to dotting again, whoops. I'm going to take my piping bag and start dotting again. And actually, I kind of like this, um, the small hole because I can squeeze and I have control of my dots. Um, this one was maybe slightly a little too small. So to recap, this is the large live edge mold from Pouring a Heart Out. The resin is Art Pro from Resin Pro, the three to two ratio. I've used the Green Panda Write and Draw Ink from Octopus. I've used Inoki Resin Ink from Octopus, not sure if it's a resin ink or an alcohol ink. It just says resin ink on it, so I don't know. Um, I've used the shortcake powder from Unicone Art, mica powder. And then I've used the Yellow Zebra, write and draw. So I'm going to pause again and come back to you because this is also going to take a while because when I have these when I have the hole of the piping bag really tiny it takes a long time so so that I don't take up your time I will pause the video and be right back okay so you can see the number of drops I put in so my clean clear Final push had a little bit of yellow. I'm pouring that in the center. This color in the final push is an idea from Genevieve. Then, oh my gosh, my crystal, my, uh, crystal is not green, so the same green, but I'm going to use it anyway. So I'm going to pour that in gently. I can't tell if I've made a circle or not, but I don't want to mess up too much of the pattern. So that's that. Then the final 
step is more dots. So here I go. And this time it's sort of on this outer part and then all the way in. I really like the small hole in my piping bag. It allows me to control. So thank you for that as well, Miss Genevieve. Put one here, didn't miss that. And if you notice, the idea here is also I haven't been torching at all, and that is another idea by Genevieve, and I will torch after I finish this. So I didn't torch at all while pouring. So feel free to fast forward. I'm just going to see where else I can put some dots. See, and I'm going to go outwardly as well. You don't have to, I believe, or I don't know about have to, but I just kind of want to because I don't want to waste all this white resin with the titanium white from just resin. Okay, so I can do quite a bit less. I did quite, I did put quite a bit. I'm just gonna continue doing it. So feel free to fast forward and I will see you for the reveal. I will be taking my little handy dandy tool and sort of gently nudge the edges to the edge of the mold here. Boy, I feel like putting some here. I think I will just to see what it might or might not do since I have the resin. Art Pro, Lodge, Live Edge, Write and Draw from Octopus, Green Panda, Yellow Zebra, Just Write Titanium White. Mica Powder of Choice, two of them. Okie dokes, I am going to leave it there. Before I torch, as I said, I'm just gonna gently, I guess I could have used a little bit more resin, so. And I'm gently doing this because I don't wanna ruin any anything that the design might be creating on its own. So for disclosure, I tried this yesterday with reverse, trying to do a yellow one and oh boy, nothing happened. It just became a yellow blob because I used yellow first and then green. 
trying to get creative and fell on my face. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to now torch and hope for the best. See you for the unmolding. Okay, this is ready. It's a little soft, but it's coming off the edge of my mold. So that's good. I'm going to go get a black piece of paper to put it under, because um, I, I think it won't stick. So let me just do that. Maybe I won't, because the last time I did that, I had my piece uh, stick to the black. So I think what I'll do is just use it as a background for the reveal, because it's still soft. Okay, let's hope this green-yellow turned out. Oh, wow. Very different for me on the dolly. So I wonder if it's the... Um, what'd you call it? The, uh, uh, mold. So let me clean that up. Let me put that here for now. And then I will take a photo of this. So that's a little different, uh, turnout for me on the dolly. Usually I get, uh, different sort of pedaling. So that's cool. I will try this again. Um, and I wonder if the moles make a difference. Wow, that's interesting. So that got dirty. So I want to take you in for a close-up. Sorry, I should have had this more ruddy. But it's kind of pretty. Oh, oh, oh. So there she is. Center it on that for a second. Okay, I'm gonna move this there and take you down. Pretty happy. Pretty cool. Love the color. Oopsie boopsie. Need a new camera person. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching.